In JavaScript, there are two methods for working with JSON. One of them allows you to create JSON strings and the other one allows you to read JSON strings. So these are gonna be called stringify and parse respectively. Let's first focus on creating JSON. I've got this user object right here. Let's make a new constant called JSON equal to JSON in capital uh, letters dot stringify. Then you can simply pass in the object or the array you want to convert into JSON. I can now I say console.log the JSON string. I'll run the script here. We of course get the JSON right there. As we can see, it is all condensed onto a single line. There are no spaces for no reason, etc. If you want to get pretty printed JSON, you can provide a second argument null and a third one uh, backslash t in double quotes to uh, give you tabs for your indentation. Now if I was to run it again, we get tab indented, multi-line, pretty printed JSON, if you need it to look like this. And in terms of creating JSON strings, this here is the way to do it in JavaScript. Now what about uh, reading JSON? This is done using the parse method. Right here, I've got an example JSON string. This could also come from uh, a file or something like that. If you want to read this JSON string and start using the keys and the properties and the values in your actual JavaScript code, then you can say right down here, const users is equal to json.parse, then pass through here the records. If your JSON is invalid, this here is going to throw an exception. So make sure to have try catch around it if you need to handle those situations. And I've used the term users because this here is an array of user objects. I can now say console.log users. I'll save this and run the code. We of course get the JavaScript array of those objects. And now I can say, for example, you know, for, and I can do for const user of users. I can say, for example, console.log user.username. So to access that property there, I'll save it, run it again, and we get the loop working and we only get the usernames being rendered, proving that yes, indeed, this here is an array of objects in JavaScript. And that is all for this video. If this one helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another that video.